Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone, and we do have Marion Riptide here. We're gonna do some samples on skill rotations. We're gonna go over a simplified version of going over her kit. But before that, I'd just not like to comment <laughs> in this video because I've heard a lot of negative comments already about how she's played, how she affects other um, ops. Because guys, the reality is she's not gonna be, she's gonna not gonna be the same with the other support characters or operatives. That's you know, that's the reality of it. It's it would be bad if they would just create somebody that would buff somebody outright. This is actually being creative and out of the box. Okay, so I wouldn't blame the devs because I've hear a lot, I've heard a lot a lot of frustration and disappointment with how she is created but again she is <laughs> her play mechanic is is kind of unique with what we have now i think with the with the um going in and taking charge as a support that's that's first that's new so you guys you gotta get used to how she's played she's not going to be for everybody that is why or not not for everybody what i mean is she's not going to be for every op but she will solely be specializing in a core you know core ops or probably a group if i may say but again guys do not um do not be disappointed she is actually fun to play and she has tons of damage to boot and i commend the devs for you know thinking out of the box with her because again it it would be redundant if you know she was simply just a buffer of a certain operative and that's just it so i like her build period so with that out of the way my take on her is um she's going to be your secondary dps we don't really have a secondary dps coming from a support skill okay so she is going to be your secondary dps she gonna she's going to deal a lot of damage and there's going to be a lot of ins and outs with your primary operative okay so without with that again out of the way she is not going to be well she could be your primary dps but it would not be enough damage i know she's she's fun to play but she her main her main role is really on the secondary dps portion okay so let's go ahead and take a look at her skills here this one not gonna go over um sea hunt predator i was able to discuss this yesterday so this one you put in a bullet uh kraken magazine then it shoots a lot of damage then rate of fire increases and that's it this is going to be if you're going to be using her as your uh, primary dps you're going to be specializing in her standard skill which is going to be shooting with the standard skill it's like a it's like a bullet the one that you reload for yao winter solstice it's it's similar to that you reload with the bullet and the bullet has um or the magazine has um, a lot of damage so that is basically it okay the one i'm going to be focusing in more is going to be her um support skill which um has a cooldown of eight it's sirens melody s energy cost of 12 so ambush support after marion uses her support skill she remains on the field when marion is off the field she gains three tide song so tide song 25 tide song equals to one tide song shell so if you have 100, which is a max, you'll get a max of four Tide Song shells. That is when you click her to come in um, using the support skill and she will take care of the rest. Okay. The faster that you can spam your standard skill, if you have a standard, say for example, uh, your, your, your main op is going to be Katja Donwing. The faster that you can spam your standard skill, the faster this Tide Song will charge and the faster that you will get Tide Song shells, which you have a maximum for. It will all be explained later once we do have her demo. So, 
with this, I'm going to be go going over her ultimate later and uh, alignment is going to skip it for a while. But possible partners in terms of primary um, operative, you will be needing operatives which you can spam quickly their standard skill. Obviously, um, the first one would be Katja Donwing because again, her skill, her standard skill is all about spamming, quickly spamming, and you can generate Tide Song and Tide Song shells. Then the other one that you can spam is going to be Haru Absconditus. We're gonna be having three t three demos with three ops. The other one that um, you are you can actually pair with her is the most recent one, which is Agave Vidya, in terms of um, spamming your standard skill. So these three are your prime candidates. The others. They may be used, but again, some of them or most of them do not spam their standard skills. Like, for example, um, uh, Cherno doesn't spam her standard skill, obviously. So she's not really a candidate to be used with, uh, with Marion Riptide. The other one that has standard skill um, is actually Life Wild Hunt. You can't use it as well with uh you can't use marion with her as well because she doesn't spam she actually automatically shoots her standard skill once you shoot with her ballistic damage so on and so forth so there are three main ops that you can really maximize her with it's katya donwing haru abscunditus and the last one is agave vidya okay this portion is more or less um gonna be more on buffs that all of her kit is gonna give you these are summary of all the buffs actually i have my cheat sheet here so if you want to see them <laughs> i have a cheat sheet here so but you know i just want to read off this sheet so buffs for all operatives we will start off with her ultimate skill okay for her ultimate skill these are all these are titled buffs for all operatives because her passive skill provides all operatives with Radiant Wave, skill damage ignores all of target's all type resistance. Or ignores some of the target's all type resistance. So Radiant Wave resistance ignored is, is 12%. So that's the first buff. You can actually ignore. It's more of a debuff actually for the enemy. So this is your buff slash debuff for your ultimate skill. Next up is going to be your day was alignment. So increases the full squad standard skill damage by 20% for each 100 alignment index ratio increases an extra two. So technically I do have 500. So that's roughly what 10. So a total of 30 standard skill damage for my Marian Riptide. So those, these are only from skills. From the weapon um, itself, let's say we start with the Opal Prism. Um, the other gun, her main gun, you have more buffs there, but I'm going to be discussing here Opal Prism. I don't have the budget to pull for for her um, for her five star gun, but for this, um, you'll have to if you're going to be using her as your main operative or your primary DPS. This one is going to be used the 36%. This is only a tier one guy, so please bear with me. But if you're going to be using her as support, this is the buff that you're going to be looking at. So standard skill damage by an additional 12% for the remaining duration of sharpen. This effect will end if equipping operative leaves the field. Okay, so this is the buff of her weapon. Next up is going to be her logistics. Her logistics obviously is um, with three office, uh, officers. We actually got logistics for free. Again, for those who have missed it, I'm talking about this girl because she was, she is for free now. Uh, you can get her now for those who do not know. Um, going back to this one. So, if you're going to use Marion Riptide as your primary DPS, you can increase the Kraken's magazine damage by 50% when Kraken magazine is not active. 
increases skill damage of deployed operative excluding Marian Riptide herself by 30%. So take note, this one is another buff provided by her logistics. For her manifestation, guys, um, first up is going to be M1. So M1 is going to be final damage plus Kraken Shell's damage by 10%. Okay, so this is going and also rate of fire. Don't forget about that. For her M2, when number of titles Tide Song shells changes, increases full squad skill damage by 20%. This one, the the, the one that um the, the, the tide tide song shell change is reflected in the left side if you're playing an operative aside from this girl, Marion. So you're gonna see it later. We're gonna gonna show it to you. The counter. So this one is another skill damage by twenty percent, and uh, M three um, also good. But if you are on a budget, M two is a good way to stop. But if you plan to go all in, M five is a way to go because equipped with a chaos weapon, attacks with a kraken magazine, ignore twenty percent of the target's defense. So again. For those who are complaining that she doesn't give the active op operative that you know that much buffs or debuffs to the enemy, they're crazy because again she does or gives a lot of buffs and some of them debuffs. So this one is ignore twenty percent of target's defense, obviously a debuff. So with that said, I'm not gonna take more of your time, guys. Let's do some samples here. Let's go over tactical, tactic evaluation, and phase 11. Um, let's start off with Vidya. So let's see how Vidya goes. And we'll go from Vidya, we'll go to Haru, and last one is going to be Katya. So let's see how she does. I already have a team here. There you go. So we're going to have a healer here so that we could limit ourselves to two skills only. Only going to be Marion and Vidya. Okay, so... Let's do spam her skills here. So as you spam her skill, there's a number there on your left. Which uh, w which uh, is your tied song. Number of bullets or rounds. So you can actually make her go out at this point. But you can actually wait for the opponent like there then spam it there once you are empty of bullets you can return to your default programming or your default operative because actually you can quickly spam and if you want her out well that's it quick way you could actually put her out at four ready so that is your skill rotation you could actually insert her in your current operative skill rotation if you want to you can time it you can actually spam it and just um come let her come in shoot switch then charge again then come in and shoot but i would suggest guys that you time it okay so next up is going to be haru um this is more more difficult for the same stage because it's harder to break parts because of haru's limitation but again you have to you can actually spam skill spam skill shoot so you can still charge even though there you go so if you are not patient enough to wait you can use her as a buster so as you switch you can actually do some damage here as you charge quickly then you go back out ah switch still charging obviously this uh, this enemy is more difficult for haru because she specializes more in 
again, if you need more damage, you can bring her in. There you go. Swap. I was actually too long with that. See, you can actually time when to put her out. You, you don't necessarily have to, you know, put her out every time she has four counts in the left side. Last up is going to be Katya Donwing. She's 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 more suited for her because mainly of the timing of her skills. Okay, so last up we are here to showcase Katya Donwing. Perfect pair. Um, Marion is really made for Katya. <laughs> no pun intended. But again, she is really made to support Katya. Um, not only for the buffs and the debuffs, but for the sub DPS. They do have a lot of damage, really. There you go. Switch. Switch. If you're tired and you want to break faster, there you go. So again, the synergy for, for Katya Donwing and her is, is, I think, perfect. But Haru and... Vidya can really benefit from her. Again, future, you know, future operatives that can spam their skill is going to benefit from Riptide. Okay, so with that said, my thoughts with her or, you know, with what she is capable of. I think she has tremendous damage. I don't have her five star gun, but it does have more buffs than this one although the four star is decent and this is only a tier one mind you so if i have this at tier five technically the gun for tier five for the for the four star is going to be sufficient enough for her um if you're not investing heavily on mario riptide because she is you know for you she's limited in her use basically you just have to get her four star gun up to five star then that is it but she is Again, guys, she is magnificent in what she does. She's unique in a way. And do not be disappointed. I'm sure in the future, she will have more operatives to be paired with her. But for now, whether you're using her as primary or secondary DPS, she really, really packs a bunch. So again, guys, what do you think of her? I hope I was able to showcase how, how her damage potential can be used and can be timed so again guys thank you very much for staying this far comment in the comment section below take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here